A couple weeks ago, I shared a tour of my kitchen. And in that tour, I revealed my supplements counter. So I've tried all kinds of things over the years of trying to keep vitamins, supplements, anything that I take on a daily basis out of the way and out of sight. But the problem is if I don't see it, I won't remember to take it. Or if it's not easily accessible when I remember it, I won't take it. So I have put them up in the covers before and I would forget about them. I have put them in the bathroom. We have a bin that I keep pain medication, cough drops, things like that. But if someone is using the bathroom, because we only have one bathroom, then um, if I'm going to take my vitamins in the morning and the bathroom's closed, then I will just wait and I will forget. So I have left them sitting on the counter. This is our drink station. This is where we have our filtered water and all of our cups are up there. So it makes sense to have those in, have the supplements in this location, but it's not very nice. So um, anyway, when I did the tour of the kitchen and I showed my supplements, Mercy suggested, what about some kind of vertical organization? And I hadn't thought of that before. So I'm not one to go buy a bunch of organizational supplies because generally, if we get rid of enough, if we declutter enough, we don't have to buy fancy organizational items. So when I think about organizing, I think of getting rid of stuff first. And unfortunately, I cannot get rid of all of our supplements at the moment. So after Mercy suggested that, I did some searching. I found some magnetic shelves on Amazon, and I'm going to put those on the fridge because as you can see, we have this whole side of the fridge that is not being used, which I do prefer. I enjoy having a fridge that's pretty empty because I had it cluttered with so much stuff for so many years. But this is space that I can use to organize all the supplements and not have to have them sitting on the counter. They're going to be out no matter what. So the goal today is just to make the counter look a little bit nicer so the counter is not the focus of all the supplements. And um, visually, we're gonna have the same amount of clutter in the kitchen, and I have learned to accept that. Yes, I'd love to have everything clean and clear all the time and all put away, but it's just not going to work for our family. So I've, so I've completely accepted that, and now I just need to refine things and find good storage solutions for the things that we have and how we use them. So let's jump in and get started. I don't want to have things too low because we do have little ones that come over. I want to make sure that everything is up out of reach of any toddlers. These magnets are really strong. So I will have to find a different place to put my calendar. so 
So in our house, we have these Spider-Man and we randomly hide them. Whoever finds them gets to hide them again. And these Spider-Man, it's actually been like three months since anybody has found a Spider-Man. Um, I don't remember if Brian or Steven hid this one. Cause I'll have to ask them tonight when everybody gets home. But I'm pretty excited. I finally found one. So the only thing I have left on the counter is my essential oil container, which um, I'm okay with. It, it kind of conceals everything and you can't see all of it. Regularly, I only use a handful of essential oils, um, maybe four. Um, so I could technically just pull those out and put them up on these new shelves that are on the fridge, but then where would I store this? And um, and I do use the other ones occasionally, so anyway. I am really pleased with how these look. They did come with little hooks, so you can hang things from them. Which I think could be really handy in the, in the kitchen. I mean, if you have a small kitchen and you're looking for some kind of solutions to, to where to put stuff, I think that could be really handy. But I'm not planning to use these, so. So I have three packages of them because it came with two for each shelf. I'm not going to lie, it's hard for me. I will probably keep one package in my little area with extra parts, but I'm not going to keep all of them because I know I'm not going to use all of them. If I use any, it will be on the very bottom shelf. And this is the purpose that I bought them for. I'm not planning to repurpose them for anything else. So since I am planning to live in this house for years, many, many years to come, and they're magnetic, they're only going to work on something metal. So it's going to have to be the fridge. I'm, I'm just not going to hang stuff. I, I know I'm not going to hang stuff, so there's no need to keep all of these. But it is hard for me, so I will keep one package. I'll put it up, and I do go through the, um, the little box with miscellaneous parts from time to time, and I will reevaluate. So after a year, I'm likely not going to be using these hooks, and I will most likely talk myself into just letting them go because I'll look at them and I'll be like, I don't know what these are for. So... <laughs> So I'll probably just put the calendar on the other side of the fridge because there's nothing hanging on that side of the fridge and we're done. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, if you are struggling with organizing, get rid of most of the stuff and then find organizing solutions. Because really when we get rid of the majority of the stuff, it's very easy to organize what's left. If you missed the kitchen tour and you want to check that out, I'll put that video right up here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.